We're in a new chapter now. This is chapter 10. We're going to talk about geometry, fractions, and probability. And in this video, we're going to explore space shapes. And the shape of a ball is a sphere. See that? So this sphere, we can see through it to the other side to show us how it's circular. See that? It's in a circle. And the shape of a box has sides that are the same size. This is a cube. So that side is the same size as that side, is the same size as the other one, and the top and the bottom, they're all the same size, and it makes a cube. And the shape of a can is a cylinder. It's got a circle on one side, a circle on the other side, and it goes around. See? And the shape of an ice cream cone is a cone. There's a cone. If we turned it upside down, we could put ice cream in that, couldn't we? And the shape of a stick of butter is a rectangular prism. See? And we can see through this one, too, to see what the it looks like behind. So that's a rectangular prism. And a pyramid has triangles on its sides. All the sides are triangles. See that? This one has a square bottom. This one has a triangle bottom. Okay? They call the bottom the base. And shapes can have edges, faces, and corners. This is an edge. These pink parts are the edges. It's where the faces meet each other. See that? Each one of those is an edge. And then we can see the corners. Here's a corner. Here's a corner. Here's a corner. Here's a corner. See that? Here's another one. Here's another one. And then there's one in the back that we shouldn't be able to see, but we can see it because it's showing it like it's see-through, isn't it? And each side is called a face. So this has a face on this side, a face on the top, a face on the bottom, a face on the back side. See that? A shape that takes up space is called a three-dimensional shape. It's got three dimensions. It's got a length, it's got a width, and it's got a height. So that's three dimensions. Those are all dimensions, okay? And if it takes up space, then it's got three dimensions. See, a piece of paper, this piece of paper is really thin. It just has a width and a length. So that's only two dimensions. It's not really thick, is it? It doesn't have a width. It's flat. It's got a... When it's got three dimensions length, width, and height, well, then it's a 3D shape. And there's different shaped objects all around us. For cubes, it could be a sugar cube. It could be a packing crate. It could be a toy or like a jack-in-a-box toy. Some dice, those are cubes. For a cone, we could have a traffic cone or an ice cream cone. For a rectangular prism, it could be a stick of butter, it could be a box of cereal, it could be a storage container, or even a refrigerator. Those are all rectangular prisms. They're in the shape of a rectangle, aren't they? A cylinder, well that could be a potato chip container or a can, a tin can, see? A sphere could be a basketball, a soccer ball, any type of ball, a bowling ball. Those are all spheres. And the pyramid, well, that's like the Egyptian pyramids, like the Great Pyramids of Giza. Here I've got some cubes on my table. We have a little tiny unit cube. See that little tiny unit cube? We've got this great big one. That's a big, huge cube. Every side is the same size. See that? Here's another one. Here's a cube. See? That's a cube. It's like a box. I've got some cylinders here. This jar of peanut butter, well, that's a cylinder. See? This container of salt, that's a cylinder. See that? It's round on the top, it's round on the bottom, see? And it can roll like this, see? So a cylinder has a circle on the top 
and a circle on the bottom, and look, it can roll, can't it? See? Because the top and the bottom are circles. So that's a cylinder. A sphere? Well, that's just a ball. See? We can play with the ball. It's all round. That's a ball. It's a sphere. It's completely round. See? It's like a ball. See that? Sphere. A cone. Well, see how it goes around and it's pointed on the top? It's got a circle for the bottom. See that? That's a cone. If we turn it this way, it's almost like an ice cream cone. Here's another one I made out of construction paper. See? Looks like an ice cream cone, doesn't it? That's a cone. And if we roll the cone, look, it wants to roll in a circle. See that? Because the sides are slanted. So that's a cone. A rectangular prism is something that's shaped like a rectangle, like our long of 10 cubes here. Here's a rectangular prism. Look at it. It has a square on this end and a square on that end. See how the ends are shaped like squares? See that? But its face, that's a face, that's a face, that's a face, that's a face. See? Those are rectangles. That's a rectangle. There's a rectangle. See? There's a rectangle. And see it's square on the ends? See that? That's a rectangular prism. For pyramids, it can either be a triangular pyramid where the bottom is a triangle shape. See that? It's in the shape of a triangle. Or it could be a square pyramid. The sides are still triangles, like the triangular pyramid, but the bottom is a square. Look at that. So these are shapes that take up space. They're three-dimensional shapes. They have three measures. They have a length, a width, and a height. All right? They're not flat like a piece of paper. Okay? All right. We're going to talk about these shapes a little bit more in the next video. We're going to talk about how one of the sides of these shapes can be used to trace to make a shape. Okay? I'll see you there. Bye.